<laughs> Sega! <this> shit. Sega! <laughs> Holy baby death. This is Rob now. <laughs> yeah. I feel In the awful. future. Tell Rob to go to the doctor. <laughs> you, you think I'm some kind of millionaire that can afford uh, yeah. doctors? <laughs> mm, this is me laughing. I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I find that humorous. You're right, I should go see a doctor. Will I? Nope. Probably have bronchitis. I might. Oh, respiratory infection. Well, I actually did have bronchitis when I was younger, and I don't know if yep. that's something that goes away. It can be chronic, but yeah. no, you need antibiotics to make that go away. That'd be nice. I'd be into that. Although it's making my voice nice and deep. Musky. Yeah, it's, it's, it is. It's a little bit musky. I haven't, I haven't brushed Rustic. my teeth yet today, so it is very musky. He doesn't have mm -hmm. cancer of the AIDS, bro. Okay? <laughs> like, what the fuck? All right, I mean, that might have been what it said on uh, WebMD. Oh, yeah. I got like nine headaches. Guys. Their, their headaches are a symptom of you're dead. Cancer. <laughs> HIV. Symptom of you're dead. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, got me coughing. Oh yeah, sorry about that. It's it's contagious. Yeah. Maybe I'm maybe I'm Sick. like patient zero or or uh, whatever zero the whatever you call that. Wait, what? I threw a bomb at him and he didn't move. He's yeah, teleporting. He, he doesn't like take damage anymore for some reason. Yeah, yeah he's like he's in the drink. I'm alive, but I was spawned on a place where I couldn't go anywhere, so that's fantastic. I just threw like six diglets into the water. I'm a little confused about this. <laughs> what did you say? Diglets? This game is so weird. If you hit them with a bat, <laughs> they they pop up somewhere else. It's like whack-a-mole, I guess. That's kind of fun. Wait, did you say did you say diglet? Diglet. Yes! Like a Pokemon. like a Pokemon. Don't even, Dan. I you know, know the what... pokey. I love trying to kill Dan. This is, dude just falls into these pits and falls forever and then teleports across the map. What? You have a Mr. Potato Head? What is this? That's the Diglett, man. Oh, where did he... Is, what is he? Hit him. See what I, he does. I, I hit him. I hit him with the, my bat. He's gone now. You'll find him. Oh. <laughs> He'll be around. I've, I've kind of boned myself with this. <laughs> oh, is that gonna do it? Nope. It's not gonna, gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Rob, go to the doctor. No, I'm fine, dude. Just don't worry. Are you sick? Oh yes, I've been sick for for like a month and a half. What? That's you're not sick for a month and a half. You're like on a deathbed for a month and a half. What's wrong? Yeah, it's not. It's lots of things. It's lots of things. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some there's some blood in my coughs and stuff. You should like really you know, go really? see a doctor, man. It's very expensive. It'll work itself out. I've got a strong immune system. Can't. This is how it gets stronger. That is like there actually blood in your cough because now I'm getting actually legit. Well, sometimes it's not that big of a deal. It's not good, man. That's like <laughs> your lungs are asking for hood milk and you keep giving it sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> go see a doctor, please. How do we get Rob to go to the doctor? We, we gotta go. get someone who watches the stream who's a doctor. <laughs> in New York City. I would say there's a chance of that. Wait, what did you call that Pokemon thing again? What's it called? Diglett. It's, it's called Diglett? Diglett. <laughs> I've never thought to call ah! it Diglett. What was that? I fell in the water. Is it a specific Pokemon? What are you talking yep. about? <laughs> it's, well, <laughs> it's a set of, of two, right? I mean, there's Diglett no! Doug Trio. Well, yeah, there's Doug Trio. Doug but... Trio's three Diglets, but the, the first one is just a single well, Diglett. What I mean is, the second one is made up of the first one, so it's kind of both of them in a way. Maybe so if you were to define Diglett to me, what would that be? It's a it's mole. It's a dig that comes out of the ground. It's a Pokemon. Okay, so it's a specific Pokemon. You haven't seen their muscly arms, but they're huge. Yeah, if you, you see the, the image of what's actually underneath, it's, it's pretty crazy. That's what a the Shakira arms. song, Underneath Your Clothes, is about. Mm -hmm. It's about Diglett's. Why is he so concerned about Diglett? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of with right now. This is getting wild. Sorry. Was that? Did I? 
potato mic, you guys. I'm sorry. No, it's it was worth it. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> fine. It's laughter. That's what laughter is for Dude, me now. You gotta go see a doctor, man. There's a part like, where that stops being funny, and actually, we're legit worried about you. We we need you to go to the doctor. <laughs> There's no I, joke to that. Someone on chat, please go to WebMD and, and type in what happens when someone coughs up a diglet. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god. Starting to get a little uncomfortable here. <laughs> Oh <laughs> 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 All right. All right. You know, we, we have fun. Nick, here. are you mad at me for making an insensitive comment? I'm not mad at you. I just worry. I worry about Rob a lot. Wait, no, no, I'm fine. Yeah, you're not. If you're coughing up blood, though. So. Uh, it's not that much blood. Uh, That's not okay. I don't care if it's not <laughs> that much blood. It's not Rob. It's the diglets in his lungs that aren't feeling. Oh, <laughs> sweet God! <laughs> Damn. You've, you've gotten very <laughs> robot town. All right, I'm done. I'm done, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I'm done. I, I Are believe you. Mad you. At me, Nick? No, I'm not All mad right. at you. He's mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I want Rob to go to the doctor. <laughs> me too. I, I want him to remove the diglets. <laughs> this stream is like the closest analog to an illicit high I have ever been a part of, I think. Like my brain is like, you know, your normal thought patterns don't apply here. So you might as well just get ready to go with the flow. They're saying it could just be from your throat being so raw. raw. I guess, I hope that's the case. Yeah, it could be, yeah. I just, you know, I'm just, I'm just like, I got a stuffy nose, I got a, I got a cough. It's, it's, it's like really no big deal. It's, it'll go away eventually. <clears throat> One way or another. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got big arms. Like if I had like a fever, I would go to the doctor. <laughs> but I don't have a fever. It's like, you know, it's no big deal. Oh, oh, god damn it. Yeah, you know what they say, like, if you don't have a fever, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> what is it this time, Dan? I'm just saying Digbit jokes in my head, but I, out of respect <laughs> for Nick, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I think the, the funniest part is that the baseline of the humor here appears to be the word Diglett. Yes, this is the joke. <laughs> this is the confusing part for me, really. I mean, we've been saying Diglett for years, and I never really thought much about it being that funny. <laughs> but it really apparently is. It's apparently very funny. It's quite humorous. All right, all right. It sounds like a textbook lung infection. Is what someone in my that chat just said. Good. I didn't even really? know textbooks had lungs. <laughs> if it was an infection, hey, oh, after this amount of time, he would have had a fever, though, for sure. I thought. Oh, I sucked you in. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, if like if it's a lung infection, then why am I coughing? You know. All right. Why Yo, there there are medical professionals who answer these questions on a daily basis. Can you at least go to one of those forums where they answer your medical questions and ask them? Yeah, so that they can yeah. tell you to go see a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, the best website to go to. <laughs> oh God. Here oh, we go. God, I know where Can't even make it to the punchline. <laughs> Just thinking about the word Diglett. Just does it. That's <laughs> My Just God. Say it. This is easy. Might need to get around it. Yeah. Coughing because of the fluid in my lungs. <laughs> no, I, I actually I didn't mean coughing. I meant the uh, I meant the the snot in I meant my the nose. <laughs> I had zero fever when I had the same issues. All right. I mean, I'm not a doctor, so I mean, if that's what it is, maybe that's what it is. Uh, it could be a lung infection, but those go away eventually, right? You just get uninfected. You uh, you go well, get not... antibiotics. 
is what you do. Hmm. Seems like a lot of work and money. The work part is really not a factor. The money part, <laughs> yes. But uh, the dying part, less good. <laughs> yeah, this is like stuff that could kill people in the 1600s. <laughs> We're pretty much like, you know, the same. Are you enabling him, Ryan? No! <laughs> I'm saying that in the 1600s, they, they died because they didn't have like medical care. Oh, well, as much rigorous medical okay. care. You're actually agreeing with me in a different way than I thought you were. Yes. All right, Rob, in all seriousness, will you make a promise to go see a doctor in the next week? Oh, the next week? I don't know yeah. about the next week. He's not going to do it. We need to have a I mean, intervention. If I'm still sick by the end of October, then I What? Will... That's a fucking month. That's a, well, yeah, well, I mean, yeah. But then, then it would be like two months of sickness, and then uh, it's like, all right, that seems like doctor worthy. It's already been two months of sickness. Yeah, I want to get to three, and then uh, I'm dead. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, the you first thing that. your doctor says to you is going to be, whoa, why'd you wait so long? I was going to say, <laughs> why'd you let the dick let stay in there so long? <laughs> Damn. Damn, why don't you take some time to promote your channel? We are th The stream is done for today. We're, we're over time. <laughs> Can, can everyone just go around the table and give one Diglett joke, then we'll bury it? Okay. <laughs> Diglett. <laughs> Alright. So what do you want me to say? Just so tell people who you are and why you're even on the show. <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. Oh, hey, what's up, Dan? I stream Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. on twitch.tv slash dangeesling. Post two videos a day on youtube.com slash dangeesling. No Diglett talk anymore. Alright. What about you, Rom? Hi, I'm Rob. I'm dying slowly and actually rather quickly now, but uh, Kate just said in chat she thought you had an STD called the Diglett. <laughs> Maybe I do. All right. Maybe I do. Nick. Hey, everybody. I'm Rockley Smile. You can find me at YouTube.com slash Rockley Smile. Hey, everybody. Hey, can I say one more thing? Oh, Northern God. Line? Here we go. <laughs> no, I just, want to, I just want to say thank you guys for having me on the show. I had a lot of fun. Of course. Well, maybe got it. I appreciate it. I really had a good time. I hope you guys did, too. Yeah. yeah thank you yeah. for coming. Thanks for coming on the show, Dan. I had uh, I had a diglet time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> it actually works every time. Um, Nick, you promise you're not mad at me? I'm definitely not mad at you, no. I promise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Has anyone heard from Alpaca since the last stream? Is the implication there that he's now dead because we haven't had him on for this stream? Did Alpaca ever different. get that diglet in his throat checked out? Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, he was supposed to go to the doctor the other day. I haven't talked to him about if he did or not. I feel like Rob is more likely to stop talking to us than he is to go to the doctor. Oh, that's sad. No, he'll keep talking to me anyway. Yeah. I hope so. I mean, we've been talking for years now. You have to have, like, an intervention. I know. It's Deep important. in your lungs, there's, there's a, a diglet. diglet. <laughs> Don't fucking move. Uh, Look, I could ask him right now, but he's playing bomb game with Bear. In Bear's words, Rob is more likely to become a doctor than to go see a doctor. <laughs> it's pretty good, too. Is Rob alive? Like, he keeps uh, showing up in the in our Skype conversations, like, once a day. So he's definitely still living. Which is really encouraging, actually. Because for a while, people were like, I haven't heard from Rob. And I'm like, oh, I really, like, actually hope he didn't die. Because, I mean, you know, we joked about it, but... You really should see a doctor. We're kind of at the point where, like, I don't want to laugh about it anymore, because I think that if I laugh about it, that sort of makes it, like, more... Oh, yes, we've lost our area out there. If I laugh about it, it sort of seems like I'm saying it's implicitly funny that he's not going to the doctor. And it was for a while, but now it's not. Now he should really, like, go to the doctor, like, as his number one priority in his life. But I'm not, you know, it's, it's also weird because we have this etiquette of not telling other people how to live their lives that I, I want to respect. But at the same time, at some point, you're being a good friend if you put pressure on uh, on someone to do that, I think. Because we care about you. <laughs> what happened to Rob? Rob's a diglet now. Don't give Dan Giesling any more joy in his life. I don't know what's wrong with Rob. Rob is alive and well, but he should still see a doctor. 
Yeah. Like five doctors. He should really at least, like start with one at least, but I yeah. don't disagree with you. Like it's not even like a joke at this point. It's more just like you should really like go see a doctor. It's probably not like a terminal illness. Instead, maybe he could just get like some antibiotics and be fine instead of coughing up blood for like three that weeks. <laughs> a weird Tom Hanks slash Meg Ryan movie. Sleepless in Starbucks or Sleepless in <laughs> Sao Paulo? I guess it kind of sounds like Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sao Paulo. You should have written Sleepless in Sao Pablo. Yeah, that would definitely that would ensure a win. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, sounds like you got rid of the diglets, man. Congrats. <laughs> yeah, no, it'll happen Ooh, eventually. Sleepless in Starbucks. And I thought. Oh God. Austin didn't put in an answer, so a good slogan if you're running for president, Dan gets a quiplash with Make America Hood Milk Again. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Diglett's voice! Oh, I gotta get to the door. One second. Who's at the door? They're delivering his uh, female bacon. Know. Yeah. I'm totally gonna eat a frozen pizza after the stream. I got the Red Baron the other day, and I was like, man, I forgot how good Red Baron frozen Red pizza is. Pokemon cards from when I was 11 years old. You ever get Goathead from the Whoa, item room? Look at the back of that. That's the OG. You got Chaos though. Oh, yeah, no, that's great. insane. Nice. I don't think it's the first. Edition it's not first edition, edition, but there's Blastoise. Turn on the game. Play the game. Hold up, chat. I'm. Enjoying my childhood here for Look the first that. time ever. 1996. That's the OG. There's a Dan's, oh my God. Dan's favorite Pokemon, Diglett. That Diglett is so 3D. Oh, fucking foil Hitmonchan. Best day of my life. Whoa. Ooh. Why would you do that? Why would you make me hype and then you just don't like <laughs> we'll trust leave a shitty Diglett and Tangela? <laughs> Apparently, wow. I put. In my, in the, my best sleeves, I put a Diglett and a Tangela. I don't That's even know. That's pretty what good. Thinking. Were they were they holographic? That's worth two hundred. Dan would put his Diglett in a in a sleeve. <laughs> he does every night, basically. Oh, come on, this is Geesling. Legendary land. Hey, are there any doctors or people in the medical field in chat that can confirm if Scrubs is entertaining for you as well? Are there any doctors in chat Wait. that have no borders? <laughs> I would, what? what? I was really oh, it, like it's it's entertaining for the doctors. Yeah, I mean, like if you're actually a doctor, do you get stressed out seeing shows about doctors, or are you like into it because it's a comedy? They're probably more stressed like watching House MD, and they're like, "What yeah. the fuck? What if somebody actually comes in with one of these extremely <clears throat> ludicrously rare diseases?" They're probably too busy like being. The Being most doctors. highly educated, you know, stressful <laughs> job on the planet. Yeah, but the one dude got poisoned because of the I, I oh, hate everything. I hate everything. All right. I'm a doctor and Rob should come see me. <laughs> well, yeah. That's true. Okay, I'll take that as an acceptable second. If you're a doctor that can treat Rob, <laughs> please raise your hand. <laughs> I'm fine. If you're preferably in the New York City area. Oh, I've got yeah. a doctor here. Scrubs is cool. Just hate seeing them put the stethoscopes on backwards. Yeah, that's. Oh uh, no! Oh, do they really? I don't know. Oh. I've never noticed it, but that's some Doctor 101 right there. Yeah, that would bug me too. I don't blame you. Yo, I got a free polishing at my dental checkup on Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. Wednesday. For what? Your teeth are not. That's knob. pretty good. Yeah, apparently, like, you know, I'm I'm always on their asses about, you know, dentists are already trying to push, like... You're always on their asses! Yeah, because they're trying to push this shit. They're like, you should have this done, you should do that. And I'm like, you know what? I got my insurance policy at work. It's pretty good. Um, but, like, you know, I don't want to I don't wanna be paying out of pocket. Like, do right. what you can. And the lady... I'm, apparently, I only get polishings every six months, but I get checkups every three months you in my policy. get checkups every three months? In this policy, yeah. That's a lot. One, man. That's outrageous. I know. I'm. I, my whole life, I've been doing every six months, and then I switch to this new dentist because it's in my, my work building, so I just go down at, like, lunch. And they're like, yeah, see you in three months. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, man. 
It's like, okay, as long as I don't have to like pay extra for it, and yeah, I don't. But it's it's kind of annoying because I, I see them so often now and I have to keep my teeth extra clean. That well, is a yeah, progressive that's... ass insurance company you have Dude, that feels scary. that they want to invest in your future health to that degree. Every three months, go to the dentist. Holy shit. Yeah, but like that's for the cleaning. It's one of those things I feel like the more you go, the less it's going to it's gonna cost in the long run. Right. Because they're like, they're always like, hey man, floss, floss, floss. But if they only see like once every 10 years, it's like you have to get three root canals right now. <laughs> I've been going every six months, but even like that is is a little too much. Yeah, that's, that's I, annoying. And they they've been they've been taking advantage of me, Fox. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Uh, you know, I I would probably benefit from having your uh, your strategy. You know, of being like, hey, you know, do I really need this that badly? Because like, you know, I got my wisdom teeth taken out, and I've had two cleanings this year, and then they're like, well, there's like a little, there's like a pre cavity in your back molar oh. so we can fill it. And then I was like, fine, whatever. I'll come in next week, just fill it. it. Took like 10 minutes. And then they're like, just so you know, like one day you might need a root canal back here. And I'm like, you think I was born yesterday? <laughs> this is a little too much. Pretty soon they're gonna be like, wait, all your teeth have to go. We're gonna replace them with, you know, solid diamond. Is that a problem <laughs> with you? Yeah, that, that's what I'm, I wish they just do it now if they're gonna do it. Just make I'm it ready. rain YouTube money on them and then get the diamond teeth. It's worth it. I'm, I'm ready to be YouTube's riffraff. <laughs> no, say that I already am. They, uh, yeah, this this year is definitely like my most frequented, uh, like four checkups, plus all the times in between, because I have a lot of, I guess, older fillings from when I was a kid, right? Metal, yeah, and they yeah. only let they're getting near the end of their life, and that was one of the ways they they first tried to squeeze me. They're like, hey, you should <laughs> probably get these these fixes. Like, all right, like I'll do it. Because, you know, I want the new, the white plastic. I'm all about that, but... Of course, yeah. Of course my plan covered it. I was surprised. <laughs> I... Dude, you'd never leave that job. You have the greatest insurance <laughs> I've ever heard of. It's really good. Uh... I feel like dentists build in planned obsolescence into most of their work, so that way they can get more money out of you later. This I know is it's kind of like, a conspiracy I... theory, though. Honestly, I think that is a uniquely American viewpoint. Yeah. Like... <laughs> <laughs> hearing hearing Rob be like, you know, I don't want to go to the doctor because I don't trust anybody who makes money when they can tell you there's something wrong with you. Yeah. I'm like, are you, how do you, yo, there's like a Hippocratic oath, dog. He also oh, did pay a lot of money to get a, you know, degree to be able to tell you that stuff. Which you know? is more reason why they would want to make more money back, isn't it? Yeah. Our friend Jay is screwed. Yeah, <laughs> he told us that his, I mean, I don't know how much of his private information we should be sharing, but he told us that, like, he used to pay his loans, and they were, like, his cheap loans, maybe for undergrad that came due, so it was, like, $500 a month. No, it was $300. $300 a month. Yeah. When his uh, dental school loans have to be paid back, it's $4,800 a month. Fuck. <laughs> for, like, probably, like, at least five years. So. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, oh. that's, that's like, you know, several hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, so here's a serious question. What age do you guys are you guys going to start thinking about bleaching your butthole? I don't think I'll ever start bleaching my butthole. That was a great <laughs> shot. Nice. Do you have to bleach more than once, or is it just the one time? It's, oh, a, I think bleach, it's a, like a maintenance thing. It's a long-term really? thing, though. Like, you get it for a while when you get it. Then you get like a half a year <laughs> or so. You get it for a while. <laughs> Oh shit, oh god. No, oh. I mean, it takes years for, like, the shit to start staining your skin again. I don't know if that's true. Is that? It is true. Wait, is that why your butthole is brown? It's yeah, of course. It stains your butt? It's like micro stains that add is up over your time. butthole brown? Some people's I've are more than others. I've always operated on the principle that your butt is the same color as your nipples. I don't think that. Bright pink? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking your butthole's not pink. I mean, maybe some people's are, like, if you I lift seen away the folds or something. I thought your butthole's the same color as your nipples. Wait, your butthole has folds? Well, it's got, like, two sphincters. What? <laughs> there's there's two sphincters. It's a thing. It's real. Thank you also, guard you for the seven months in a row. I'll just throw you right in the middle there. Thank you very much. <laughs> so it's like I'm eating. Stop. <laughs> 
I, I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, to be to be totally honest with you, I have no idea what color my butthole is. Yeah, same here. I've Could never just seen be it. Skin colored. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Could be I mean, I slightly guess slightly darker than skin colored. I don't know. Like you're talking about the in, like your inner bee hole, or are you talking about your your external bee hole? <laughs> what are you talking about inner bee hole? <laughs> there's two sphincters. If you're looking like if you're inside your bee hole, it's probably pink in there. Yeah, I can see that. Right, because but... it's like inside of your body. I'm talking about the outer sphincter. Yeah, like I don't think they I don't think they bleach. We're the obviously inside. all talking about the outer sphincter. Well, exactly. I don't yeah. think you guys acknowledged there was an inner sphincter only a moment ago. I mean, I didn't think I to be to be totally. Like ask it what color your freaking appendix is, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's irrelevant for our current conversation. I never looked. <laughs> you mad? <laughs> But do you really have two sphincters? Is that a real thing? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> There's yeah, actually like 20 sphincters. So really? No. Oh, okay. That Just makes two. sense. The doctor probably has 20 sphincters. Yeah, and like three foreskins. Oh, the doctor. For a second, I thought you were talking about a doctor. Sure, <laughs> doctor. <laughs> no. Yeah. Rob's personal doctor that he never goes to see. <laughs> That's why I don't see him. He's I had mean, so many sphincters. <laughs> Oh, that's a great way to go out. Thank you. Are you worried the doctor's gonna swallow you into his sphincters, Rob? Is that the big problem? Well, I mean, how do you trust the man, like, medically, if he's got 20 sphincters that he hasn't dealt with? You You're know? saying he's got, like, dirty fingers or something. Yeah, he's oh, he's technically... Got... Fuck. <laughs> technically, streamer, man, all men have 20 sphincters. You have the pyloric sphincter and then the cardiac sphincter. <laughs> oh, you're gonna bring the heart into it. Okay, sure. My, uh... My, my button, like, has stopped, stopped working. I'm telling you, man, same here. Yeah, that's kind of weird. My button's fine. <laughs> are, you talking, are you talking about your b-hole again? Yeah. How long would it take us to do one game of Civ Five to completion like, on the show? Like, oh, a long time. Three weeks in a row. On Mondays <laughs> only? Three hours. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> 24 hours Civ stream for charity, I'm in. Yo, I, that's not that hard. for charity, honestly. I would probably be down for that, yeah. I'd be down for that just regularly. Well, what it, what the charity was like, my wallet. Here, let me <laughs> let me talk to you. That's a good one. Here's how things go when we suggest it for the show. Here's a suggestion. Here's what it would take. Let's multiply that by 20 and then just act like it's going to happen. You know, I actually have people, like, writing posts and, like, tweeting me. And they're like, hey, man, are you sure you're okay? A grown adult should be able to eat 20 nuggets without feeling discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that we're going back to the Nug stream now. <laughs> it's on Sunday, isn't it? It's it's a sub yeah. goal for Kate, honestly. She gets to 400. We're, we're I doing still, the Nugs. It's our idea. Why does Kate did, get it? Anyone can do 50 Nugs. You didn't, you did, did you make well, yeah, them? That's, bull, that's, that's a load of bullshit. Did you make the McNugget recipe? I don't think so. I wish I was in the Council of Nuggets, but apparently I'm not. You can totally do me. it. There, why don't you just I, replace me? Like, I clearly I, don't want to do I it. I like so. you there. I like when, when you're there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I did bring up the topic of. Oh God, I can't see anything. Why would you should be in the nuggets? Nuggets. The they more sell people. Nuggets at McDonald's. I was the one who told you guys about it. You sons of bitches. <laughs> the, yeah, you're welcome to be there, man. There's no reason to get <laughs> profane again. <laughs> you should be part of the nugget crew, you, and if anything, you should take my spot. No, it doesn't work like that. You're you've got a spot. It's no, like, why are you why are you backing out of the nugget challenge? I was never in the nugget challenge. It's just you been were in the nugget challenge. it's been implied yep, that I would be a part of it, but I don't want to be a part of it. But you are. I want to live a long, healthy life. You are it. I routinely think to myself, how am I the oldest one out of these three pieces of shit? <laughs> or how am I the youngest one out of these three pieces of shit is what I mean to say, because that's the reality of the situation. You feel old, though. Definitely. Rob's younger the youngest than you. One. No, yeah, Rob, Rob is younger than me, but... Who's the youngest here? Rob. Rob. Dan Giesling. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably the youngest. Dan Giesling's the youngest. Well, I know Josh and Nick are older than me, and Rob's younger than me, so I think Rob's the youngest. I think I am, yeah. I'm 24. Are you sure? Uh, What's that? Forget like? how old you are. Sometimes. Yeah, I, I could be 23. I could be 26. I, I don't, don't know. Even remember what that's like. 24. 24. Like my age is generally like plus or minus two. So. <laughs> yeah, you do. You know, I'm sure that these old fogies can relate to it. But 
you reach a point where I'm like, I'm not really sure of my age. I actually have to do the math sometimes. What's my age yeah, again? Uh, I'd never know my age. It's, it's just after 21, it doesn't oh. really matter. Yeah. Yeah. I've been like between 25 and 30 for a while now. Since I was 23. <laughs> Dude, that basically. eventually ends though, and then you gotta start keeping track again, and it's weird. I'm, I'm pretty much like, most of the time I act like I'm in my 30s anyway, so I think I'm oh, already oh, oh. I'm already ahead of the game here. Rip my lead. The but youngest Dan is Giesling always says, exempt. Dan Giesling asks, Rob is only 24? Those diglets in his lungs are older than that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure what that means. <laughs> Rob or Dan just loves saying Giesling or Diglett, but he loves saying <laughs> he Giesling loves too. Saying Giesling. As well. He loves it so much he named his wife's last name Giesling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why'd you do that, Dan? It's your problem. Dan messaged me again and said, Don't talk shit about my wife or Julie Chen. <laughs> <laughs> Is his wife Julie Chen? No. Oh, she's God, Julie man. Giesling. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did Dan name his wife? Yeah, of course. That's oh, the, the last name in America. Yeah. Okay. okay. You wake up in 100 years in the future and are shocked to find Rob's lung diglets have taken over the world. <laughs> I wonder who did that one. The Trump, I wonder. The Trump presidency was a huge positive. Oh, the that's... Muppets have taken Normandy. <laughs> Everyone wears vans and is named Daniel, or you still haven't lost your erection. Still? A hundred years? You should definitely call a doctor at that point. Yeah, that fucker drained. I have to say that this is probably the strongest last lash I've ever seen. There's actually more than one answer that's not bad. And it's the first time that's ever happened. What a rarity for us. Everyone wears Vans and is named Daniel. Got <laughs> Where's Vans? <laughs> Where's Vans? Got, got 7%. <laughs> Rob's long diglets have taken over the world. <laughs> got 10%. You still haven't lost your erection. 20%. Damn, Daniel. The Trump presidency was a huge positive. 21%. And then the Muppets have taken Normandy. Forty-two <laughs> percent. All right, that's that's fair. Suck it, everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was like Insta Ghost, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Whoa. is it a happy dildo? <laughs> It's a very small, or I guess Dildo short. parentheses happy, because it has to only be five letters. I accidentally uh, made Diglett French. <laughs> Diglett? <laughs> he's, uh, he's going into Dugtrio in a second here. Oh, yes, never mind. Okay. It's Dugtrio territory. Oh, look, it's a uh, it's that turtle one. Herpes mouth? Yeah, I don't think <laughs> herpes is a Pokemon. That's me. Bob, you're, why are there giant I'm herpes? I'm sticking a stick in my mouth, I guess. <laughs> He is! <laughs> uh, He's happy with that part of it, and then he just decided to draw Rob with a dick in his mouth. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's a thin penis. Uh, are those your lungs, like, pulled away from your body? I... What the hell, man? What? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Uh... Oh my god. Oh, it's Rob's diglets. I don't know the meme, though. It's my what? It's your diglets, it's your it's... lung oh. diglets. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, I gave you the answer, but I don't know what the meme is, so I can't get it. I get it. <laughs> God That's damn good. it! This is this is bullshit. Ah, this is yes! Uh, I can't believe anybody got it. <laughs> that was me who got it too. Hey, I helped. All right, I fucking helped. <gasps> oh! God damn it! Ah! Uh. <laughs> you were sick. Ah! Oh. Fuck. <laughs> The memes, the callbacks. Oh, I thought Those you went to art consoles. school. You caught me. You <laughs> caught me. Consoles. Well, I mean, in fairness, that, that was a pretty perfectly shaped diglet. Oh, this is easy. There's not much to them. That's just a good point. Oh, shit. What up? All right. It's a close game, except Nick's 500 points up on everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. <coughs> How are those diglets? 
Uh, they're <laughs> no they're, Dan's. They're <laughs> no Dan's. <laughs> Let's see what Pokemon are in my area. What Pokemon are in your area, chat? Let me know. Rattatas. And There's a sand true near me. Pitties. You know what's not near me? Uh, uh, Pokeballs. Yeah. I got shit. But you're going to Walmart later, right? Apparently. Oh, also, yeah, Pokemon don't have GPS not. right now. Oh, that sucks. Rotation of the Earth. Satellites. Drowsies? Aw, oh, dude, I want to get a drowsy. There's Diglets near you? <laughs> There's Diglets inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> Do not fuck with me. I am literally a nuanced critique right now. I'm going to go no. count Chocula. Uh, I mean, oh, yeah! Rod wins! <laughs> I, thought it said, I thought it said a nuanced critic, and I was like, oh, yeah, that kind of works. No, 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 that's not what that word said. All right. <laughs> Uh, so get well, we have to end the stream, guys. Rob's dead. Yep. Um, he told me he was healed. He lied. He's Rob like... needs to go get the Diglets taken out again. So Woo! that has been today's No NLSS. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. There is a cider called Scrumpy Cider. Yeah, yep. and in Texas, it's called Scrumpin, except without a... There's no Scrumpin. G, there's just an N and an apostrophe. Oh, of course there is. It's Texas. Yeah. yeah. They're in Texas land. Uh, excuse me. I don't speak like that. <laughs> I know you don't. It's just a really bad what? misconception Rob. Europeans have. Like, growing up, seeing all the movies from America, you'd think that, like, in Texas and everything, like, everybody talks in, like, a very Texan accent. And then the first time I heard somebody, like, I think it was Austin, he's like, yeah, I'm from Texas. He's like, no, you're not. You don't have that accent. And then I, eh, you know. Nice. Um, nice. I like this. You have to you have to dig deep into the into the into the memes to understand ah, that one. I don't yeah. know memes. Uh, so this is a Dan thing, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, it is a Dan. Oh, uh, I don't know Dan either. <laughs> Please whoop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Oh no! Wait, did I? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought it's okay. I was just wondering. Okay. <laughs> Cough. I don't get it. <laughs> what? Rob has lung diglets. That's a, yeah. that's the damn yeah. thing. What? You uncan the Dan, you get Dan. lung diglets. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Pokemon, Dan? So I'll show... I don't know if I have one, but I'll show... I'm going to show the one I have Dan, right now. Everyone has one. If you don't have uh, one now, you'll have one eventually. I mean, Dan. diglet. Diglet. Yeah. Just but, dead. But, but this is my buddy right now. I've I've one. It looks like a bull, and I, I named him Ford Tauros. Yeah, Ford. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think Ryan told us about Ryan that. Said that yeah. <laughs> Taurus is cool. He's cool. Yeah. Yeah. But I did catch C dot the other day. I was very excited about yeah. it. I get that tweeted at. We all get that tweeted at us at least once a month. Yeah, and it's a good tweet. The real question is why are diglets? so hard to they find they are not rare at all maybe in vancouver they're not mouth we're just waiting in the re-up room yeah, for you i'm coming through if anything they're they're probably like the 20th most common pokemon